Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, what I wanted to do was walk you through a quick overview of Fraud Blocker, which right now is currently available on AppSumo. I think it's a good deal for what they're offering. They're not as big as some of your other um, tools that are out there, like ClickSeeks, but they're on the come up. And I think for the price, I think it's a good uh, deal. Let's take a look at, let's get right into it because it's not that much to it. It's really uh, easy kind of to set up, but I was going to bring this to you a little bit earlier, but I wanted to, once I started running my ads, I wanted to take you through and kind of let you know what's going on. So what you do is you set up your domains here. I, I got a lot of private stuff here, so I got a lot of stuff blocked off, but I want to try to take you through and kind of let you see what it's doing with the ads that I'm running. Um, you set your domain there and then you're going to uh, place your code in the header tag of your actual landing page, the page that you're running ads on. Now, so the domain shows up here. Don't want to show that. I don't want to increase the habit of getting uh, uh, bots to click on it by you guys seeing that I don't want nobody to load anything. So I just kind of blocked out some things that I didn't think that was important. So you add your website here. Uh, you put the domain there and then it shows up here so you can check for any one of the domains that you have depending on what tier you have i have uh, tier three and as you can see once i started running ads i've had 32 ad clicks right um 26 of them are clean right and then six of the clicks were suspected uh, or at least 18 percent were suspected to be uh some type of uh you know potential fraud not really sure to, i guess it was just doing some other checks with it as well it gives you the ip addresses here i don't know i didn't want to expose ip addresses i didn't want anybody doing anything or anything like that as you can see here these are the ads and stuff like that these are the ads that were clicked these are the ads that i'm running here um and then it gives you a numbers here breakdown this is the last time it synced with google it was on the 7th and this is running from the last seven days. And so it then gives you a threat level score here. Uh, mine is pretty low. I don't have anything that were, that were excessive. You can block certain IP addresses if you think someone is potentially doing that. You can actually go in and block their IP addresses as well. So this is kind of the back end. So you can take a look at it here. Let me show you around the dashboard a little bit more, but I wanted to just kind of give you the nuts and bolts of it. I think it's a pretty nice tool. Um, again, it's just you just put the JavaScript code in your header and it checks for you. So let's take a look around at some of the other things that they have here. And then let's take a look at some of the dashboard analytics. So as you can see here, this is the dashboard uh, invalid clicks are letting you know if there's any invalid clicks. Um, here they have this this tree here, this uh, graph they're showing you, and I had 32 visits from the ad, 100% from the ads of the clicks here, and then what you do is you can edit your cost per click, what it's costing you, so that way it'll tell you how much money you saved. If anything, if anyone tried to click on it that were not uh, official, it'll tell you how much money is saved as a result of once you put in your uh, cost per click average in there. And then it tells you your fraud score. Uh, we just talked about it. My particular fraud score is um, zero. So let's take a look. So this is the dashboard here. All right, so this is the reports that it show you, right? Again, I give you the uh, IP addresses. Um, and then so what we see here is you go across this, this had a fraud score of 1.0, excessive clicks here, this happened um there and then here's another one here this is a fraud score 4.0 excessive clicks here all right and so they're letting you know what has happened on that particular date they clicked on your ads obviously so this had two ad clicks but it gave it a fraud score four it wasn't a bot so i don't know so they do have they do give you some pretty good detail you can kind of see what's going on with your um, particular uh, website I think for the price I think it's, it can't be beat um, like they said and like the founder says hey we're not as large as click I think click um, 
is really large so they're able to do a lot more customization but th th what they're saying is they have their open roadmap they said that they're doing a lot of stuff just to kind of get caught up and to try to be on a competitive level but i think at a lower level i think it saves you something right and i hate when bots click on i look at my ad i'm like man how did i pay this much money but now this is proof this is anything if you wanted to submit to google to try to get reimbursed this gives you a good um, way to look at that so let me go and look at a couple more setups here and then uh we'll close close it out and i'll give you my last final thoughts okay so inside of customization you like i said you can add a uh, customization here our system helps detect fraud based on click frequency however if you'd like to override our system to add your own rules you can so here they can do vpn blocking accidental clicks monitoring mode uh, aggressive blocking abuse of IP so you can actually blacklist uh, some IPs IP IP addresses as well so you can uh, block based off uh, device IDs and so on and so forth so these are some of the customizations that you actually can do here so these are the detection rules that they have and then like I said you can go in and block some IPs I did uh, block, a, block a couple of IPs I think even put out my um, a couple of other IP addresses there. So I'm going to show you how to add the website and then we'll close it out. So this is the setup and where you put the actual code. Again, it must be added immediately after the opening head tag. I didn't want to put my individual code there. It's customized to me. So obviously I did not want to expose that. But again, it's just a JavaScript code that you put in the top of the head of head tag. Um, and then also you, they said they have Microsoft ads coming soon. So that's there just so in case they're letting you know the Microsoft ads. So again, this is just a code, quick install. And they're giving you some step-by-step -step instructions. You can put that with. And let me show you one last thing I wanna show you is how to add an account. All right. So once you click on add account, what you do is you put your domain in here and then what it says you just add your website and so they got to know what the domain is obviously once you put the domain in then you just drop your code in the header tag here and once you add your website so again i think it's a pretty good deal let's take a look at the deal and see what would be a, a good purchase i obviously purchased uh tier three if you're going to run ads you you definitely want to get your money's worth um that has fifty thousand monthly clicks um, that you can actually get. Let's take a look at the deal really, really quick. Okay, we're here over at AppSumo. And again, if you're not familiar with AppSumo and who they are, I put a link below, let you know if they're, you know, if a lot of people say, hey, they're a fraud or whatever. No, they're not. Um, I've been using them for several years now and bought several tools from them. Um, this is the tool here. Let's take a look at the, um, the deal here, what you can get. They're alternative to click cease and click guard, right? They're mostly for marketers, marketing agencies and SaaS uh, integrations with Google AdWords and so on and so forth. Now, one of the things and you can see here where you have you can have your your measurement of your click score. So you definitely want to make sure that you put something on it. I think having something versus nothing is uh, very cool. Um, and again, these are some of I know Bing is coming. Uh, and I think they're supposed to add some other ones here. These are the manual manually add those there, prevent accidental clicks. Like we said, you can actually do that and you put those, you can put that detection in there. So what they have here is they have, um, you can do one domain, which um, you can put in your domain address and you can get over 4,000 clicks for $49 for a one-time cost. You can put in three domains and get 10,000 total clicks for $99, or you can do 189, 50,000 total clicks, unlimited domains, unlimited sub accounts. Um, so this is the one that I selected tier three. I do want unlimited domains because I never really know how many domains I'm going to run. I'm running several domains right now at least 10 but i'm not running ads on all 10 but you never know right and so let's look at what else they have they have a tier four that gives you 150,000 total clicks 
right? That's for 289. I don't run that many ads and this will be for myself. And then they're running a, uh, they do have a, a tier five or 400,000 total clicks for 499. So again, it's, it's, it's helping versus any versus any type of bots. I think if you're going to have, um, I'm not really sure how the sub accounts work. Um, I think someone was asking about that, but I'm not really sure how the sub accounts work. I do know you can run a domain. If I, even if I put another person's domain, if I wanted to run an agency and not give them full access, I can run, um, actually, I think their sub accounts. I don't think it separates out. And I think that's something that they said they were going to work on, but right now you can have other people log in, but I think it goes underneath your account and I think they could see all the activities. I'm just not for sure. I may have to check into that. Let me check really quick for you just to make sure because I want to make sure I take care of you guys. So you can see here they're saying live now subdomains. You can now use subdomains when adding any domains to your account. I'm going to show you what that looks like. Um, what I think it looks like or what I think they're calling subdomains is they're saying that what they have next coming up is uh, click limits per domain, which I think is good if you're going to have subdomains. Uh, multiple Google ad connections per domain, which is important if you're going to have sub accounts. I think now you can only really set up one Google account, right? Um, what are the things I wanted you to take a look at is someone asks, is it possible to white label this sell to my client, um, to my agency clients? And he says, yes, it's been added to our roadmap officially based on the request. Um, but timing is still months away. They have the Bing and the meta integrations remain a priority. Again, remember I said they were working on Bing, so that's a priority for them. But let me show you what happens when you now you can connect someone else. You just can't monitor, uh, their. So when you come here, when you go to user management, you come here, you click on user management and you come here and you add your user. What you do is you click here. He says, Hey, I want to add a user. We can do is just put in our first name, last name, email, and you send an invite to them. But what it does is it gives them the different access letter level, whether they be a manager or a viewer. Um, obviously you want to make them a viewer, but I think they can view it. I just don't think that, um, I'm not really sure what else they can actually see, but I'm not really ready to do this. I'm not really ready to do a sub account yet. They, he said that they're coming and they're going to make it a lot cleaner but I will wait on that, but that will be included in this deal as well. Even if you paid for the regular deal here. So this is, this is good. And so then you just send an invitation and it allows them access to it. Um, so again, this is a good deal. I like, I definitely like at least if you're not a heavy user, but use it for yourself. I like at least a tier three, if you're going to just use it for yourself. Um, at least start out if you're a small agency. I definitely would at least look at, you know, maybe a tier four, but if you want to try to be like a mid size level agency, when you manage at least, you know, four or five accounts, nothing over the top major, then I would at least look at a tier five. You can make that money back easily. If you looked at a tier five for this. So, you know, I give this right now for the price for what you can save versus, uh, you know, looking at, a um, a click cease or a click guard. I think this is a very, very good deal. I would give this a, a five, uh, a, not a five to, well, I give it a five taco, but I would also give it a five, um, a growth hacks club, um, token here on this particular setup. This is not a bad for the price. One time costs. This is not bad. All right. Hey, this has been Jenny Jones. Check out the next video. I'm sure it's something that you could probably look at or you haven't seen from our store before. Until next time, you guys take care. Goodbye for now.